Okay, in this video, we're going to go ahead and create the JMS service. So in the Docker Compose file, you can see that I've got the definition up there. You can see that we're pulling from the image V Romero, ActiveMQ Artemis, and then we are exposing two different ports. So that's for the JMS communication. So we don't have to worry about any environment property. So uh, we're good to go there. This is going to be a, a fairly simple. So let's uh, toggle over to the command line and create this. So here, first we want to create the deployment file. Create deployment, and we are going to call the service JMS, and this is going to be from the image equals B Romero, active MQ, Artemis, try dash run equals client, minus O for YAML output, like so. And we say cube CTO apply minus F. So that creates the uh, deployment, the actual pod that is uh, being created. That's going to be the container. And then we can also do uh, clear the screen, get towards the top again. Cube control create service this time. This isn't going to be exposed outside the cluster, so we'll give it cluster IP JMS. And now let's expose the ports. Want 8161. And then also we need to do 61616. Again, that's going to be dry run. Output of YAML. Got a typo there. TCP equals. Apply minus F, JMS service this time. And let's go out creating service. I clear all this. And getting all, we can see that we now have a JMS pod, a MySQL pod. We have the two services that we've created, JMS and MySQL. So this is exactly what we want to see uh, here. And if I do clear, If I do a Docker PS, we can see that we have two containers running in a Docker context on our local host. So let's toggle over to IntelliJ real quick and we'll review what we created. So the first thing that we created was this JMS deployment. We used the cube control command. Uh, we haven't had to touch anything in this file, so this was created through cube control. Uh, we didn't have to override anything, so no edits were made to this file from that command. And then also we created the same same with the service. You can see that we did use the TCP uh, parameter twice, and that was created created those two port mappings for us. So exactly what we want here as far as exposing the ports.